rap song is red pill rage. This ain't a rap song. But the way you women rage. speak about me is song. that this twenty percent or smaller is the entire rap group of men. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the truth. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money, travel the world when you're getting it like that. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notifications button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, you can go to my homepage. And if you need the music to the intro, you can also go to my homepage on the Red Pill Mixtape. Okay, today I'm going to be reacting to a little snippet of Kevin Samuels interview with Brittany Renner. This is one of those interviews that everybody has been anticipating and wanting to watch. But this is a different side of her. I'm only going to react to a, a, a little snippet. That's it. All right. And in this snippet, let's just get to it. Do you think, do you think that we, do you think women want to be married and have children and have a community uh, more than men want to be married, have children and have a community? As a woman and as a woman of, <laughs> a friend of, <laughs> friend of women, I can tell you the women are not talking about it. Like we all want it, but. Okay. The question that he asked her was. Do you think men want marriage more than women want marriage? And she's being honest. You could tell exactly by her body language that she's being extremely honest when she says women aren't necessarily talking about it. All right. That's what we have. We have a lot of guys out there that want the marriage more because a lot of guys are caught inside the fairy tale. You're caught inside the blue pill world. All right. And the women have led the men astray. Men have been programmed to be the type of man that a woman doesn't respect. But if you talk to a woman, she'll tell you that you're supposed to be that way and then will get mad that you are that way, which is why they have beta males that sit at home, run to the store and do everything that they want to do. And then they go cheat on him with the guy who refuses to be her servant. All right, so that's just a breakdown off of her comment and her body language when you can see that she said, hey, girls aren't really talking about this. It feels like the men, they might want marriage, but a lot of the same stories is, I get with a guy, I, I could see he's the one, I want a family with him, but he's a cheater. And that's how a lot of her, like I said, speaking i'm not women go into these pre of a man it's because they fall in love with the wrong type of guy this is how come a woman would know he's a cheater i love him but he's a cheater i want to be with him but he's bad i want to do this but he's bad for me but i'm gonna still do it and then when she knows that she's doing something wrong and she gravitates towards that and she gets hurt she runs to the beta male and says all of these guys were bad. All of these guys were bad. They hurt me. And in transition, you look at it like, oh man, all these guys done hurt her. I'ma out nice them. I'ma show her how a real man is supposed to treat her. But she's told you that to make you weaker as a man in order for you to be her little servant trying to out nice all the other guys because you think she's suffering. But at the beginning of the relationship, before she got hurt, she knew that she was gravitating towards the wrong guy. She knew that she was going to get hurt. That's what we're here for is to teach you women go towards the truth and they go towards something they cannot control. You trying to be the ultimate good guy is something mom, grandma and your female's cousins have tricked you into being i'm not telling you to be an asshole i'm telling you every man is supposed to be a lion you have to leave the pride you have to leave the nest in order for you to jump into the real world get some real world experiences underneath your belt then you could be the king of a castle because you would know what territory you need to walk around break that down
speaking for all the women who are watching or men but other i know relationships end for other reasons but a lot of my friends haven't cheated on and it's almost like your hand is forced to either then accept it or move on and to be honest with you i am not gonna sit here and act like i'm okay with putting my integrity my self-respect on the line See? to be okay she's not even understanding and she's not getting what he's talking about once again when women have failed their image all right her image is messed up because she's looked at as a whore Whenever they run free, thinking that they have it all figured out and that they have it under control, they slide back and play victim. They slide back and says, it's the man's fault again. It's the man's fault. I'm not going to let a man run all over me. That's what she's saying. I'm not supposed to sit back and let a man run all over me. You notice her argument is from a regular woman's point of view. She's ignoring the fact that she's made IG posts and books teaching women and, and just pretty much telling women to use men for money. And then she went and did the things that she's been teaching women to do. Now she's trying to speak from a different perspective where the man is the is the bad guy. And now she plays victim. It has been, but you have 54% of black men who are single and child. 16%, 30% of black men are married. So 84% of black men are responsible for 20% of 16% of black men, the remainder is responsible for the 80%. What Kevin is saying here is, is that there's, there is eight there, out of hundred percent of guys, only 20% of those guys are going to be the successful ones, the rich, the good looking ones or the ones that have the alpha demeanor but mainly rich because a lot of poor guys and regular guys have alpha demeanors as well you don't need money to have alpha demeanors but when it comes to success and it comes to rich as a woman sees it on tv it's only a small percentage of guys right that are going to be there but every girl in the world only wants those 20 percent of guys right and women are overlooking the fact that there are 80 80% of guys out there or out of that 80 a higher percentage of guys that they can actually be in a relationship with because the small percentage of guys in that 20% have standards that are higher in a woman that's higher than 80% of the women that want him you know how many girls now are not even feminine a man with money wants a feminine woman that simple. Now, these older guys that done been married before, that, that are rich, billionaires, multimillionaires that own yachts, these type of dudes just want young women that they can spoil and throw money at. I know people that are like that. I know guys that are just rich. They side chick, here's 20 grand. They other side chick, here's 20 grand. That's a different ball game when it comes to successful men with money. But the average dude out there that's going to make over 150000 to 250000 a year, Believe it or not, these are the these are the successful men that just want regular women, but regular women want top-notch, small percentage dudes like what Kevin is talking about. When women talk about men who are cheating on them, women are choosing to date and mate with the top 20% of men. Now, I can't complain because I'm in that group, but the way women speak about men is that this 20% or smaller is the entire group of men. When... You're not giving any of these other guys a second. How is it that men who have children with one woman end up having children with two, 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 and you got 54% of men over here single and childless and 61% in the middle class? Woo! You guys, make sure you go over there and check out that interview. It's called When Doves Cry on Kevin Samuel's channel. I'm pretty sure you guys are already fans to him. And remember, guys, they're trying to separate men from women stop the population then they're going to separate the rich from the poor then the healthy from the unhealthy right this is anthony spade hasta la vista